Congratulations, class of 2024. Everyone may now be seated. To officially welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2024, please allow me to introduce Lily McGann, student body representative. Thank you. 
Good morning, Vikings. I'm the student body representative, Lily McGann. I'd like to welcome all parents, guardians, families, guests, staff, and members of the South Shore Tech School Committee to today's festivities. Chairman Robert Mahoney from Rockland, Thomas Petrozelli, Vice Chairman of Abington, Robert Haywood from Hanover, and Dan Salvucci from Whitman. I want to thank all the people that helped out with and put this event together. Thank you to the horticulture students and staff for preparing the field and our flower bouquets, and to all our staff and student volunteers that are scattered throughout the field. Thank you to the electrical department for supporting our technology needs, design and visual communications for all, the, for all of our printed materials, and metal fabrication for assisting with the setup. Thank you to the administrative team, guidance department, maintenance, and office support staff who have been working since January on this project. I thank you for all your hard work and your attention to detail. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our senior class vice president, Cameron Vasquez. All righty. May you all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, and justice for all. Thank you. Please stay standing for our national anthem. You may be seated, and it is my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Dr. Thomas Hickey. Thank you, Ms. Baldner. Good morning, everyone, members of the school committee, State Representative Dave DeCoste, guests, staff, families, and the class of 2024. It's great to see you in your forest green and not pollen green gowns today. We lucked out but it is my pleasure to kick things off and welcome you. This is a very special time when our extended school community comes together to celebrate our students, not just for what they've accomplished at South Shore for the last four years, but for a culmination of their entire school experience from pre-K to the present. And it is a chance for our school district to acknowledge our parents and caregivers and to say thank you for being such great partners and trusting us with your child's care and education. It's fitting that you join our graduates here at the center of today's events. It reminds us where a child's education starts and is shaped over time. High school graduations are typically a place where you would expect to hear a speaker like me tell graduates something about entering the real world, but that actually would not be accurate for this ceremony. The South Shore Tech Experience, by design, immerses our students in the real world long before they put on a cap and gown at graduation. It doesn't mean they possess all the answers, but for the class of 2024, you have experience. Life's great teacher to draw upon as you continue 
in the real world and make ongoing life choices. The experiences you have come in many forms. You have the physical experience of knowing what it is to work a full day, whether at the construction site, with clients, customers, or behind a keyboard. And it's not just about being physically present, it's more than that. It's being fully engaged with the work, actively contributing to a team goal, and leading by example. South Shore Tech graduates might shrug off this praise because they've been hearing about work habits, work habits, for the last four years. But I assure you, your parents and caregivers and future employers will applaud and appreciate that you have this mindset now at your age. And I am sure that you will be hired, promoted, and rewarded over the course of your careers. You also have the experience of interacting with people. Despite the criticism... Thank you. How's this? I'll email you what I said. It was good. You get a lot of physical experience, you work a full day, blah, blah, blah. Just watch, watch, watch Abington Cam. You'll, you'll pick it up. You also have the experience of interacting with people. Despite the criticism, the young people are constantly buried in their phones and don't know how to participate in a conversation. I would, I would challenge that assumption. I think our kids buck a trend. Our school curriculum has pointed you in an opposite direction. To engage with people a lot. Again, that might not feel like a big deal, but the ability to communicate with various audiences really, really matters today. In a world where artificial intelligence is rapidly becoming part of our daily function and our methods of communicating are more diverse than ever, people still value a live face-to-face -face conversation. And for every customer who's come into the Brass Lantern or every client in our salon or any resident of our towns who sees our students at the job sites in the community, they all express admiration about your ability to communicate thoughtfully with them and with one another. These experiences will serve you well in a real world where you have already begun to stake your claim, heading to college, the workforce, and the military. You carry with you wisdom, skill, and confidence, and I am glad that we've been a part of your journey, and we wish you well on what comes next. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce student speaker Andrea Fernandez, your senior class president. Good morning. As I stand here today, I'm filled with a lot of emotions. I'm grateful, I'm scared, and I'm overwhelmed. But today celebrates years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. We have been through plenty of challenges, celebrated lots of victories, and formed lifelong friendships. Looking back on our journey, it's crazy to see how much we've grown, not just academically, but personally. We've entered high school as disorganized freshmen, uncertain of what the future held. Yet through our experiences and the guidance of our teachers and staff, we've emerged as confident and capable individuals prepared to take on anything we encounter along the way. Looking back, let's not forget the people who have supported us every step of our journey to this stage. To my parents, I'm so very grateful for your hard work and efforts all 18 years of my life, but especially for these past 12 years of schooling. It is with their constant support that I have the confidence to be here on the stage and deliver a speech. I know the process wasn't pretty and easy, but you guys were always able to pull through. To our families and caregivers, you deserve a round of applause. <laughs> we thank you for all your love, encouragement, and your sacrifices. You have been our rock through ups and downs, and we are forever grateful for your endless support. To our teachers, thank you for your dedication and belief in our potential. As a class, we are all or nothing, which I know is difficult to control, but the teachers always knew how to manage it nonetheless. So thank you to all the staff who came in each and every day ready for what our class had to bring. 
There is one person I'd like to thank in particular. Although she's not a teacher, for many students she was a mentor and a shoulder to cry on behind the scenes. She's been such a great help to so many of us, and I want to thank Ms. Tina LaJoy for taking the time to get to know us and build a relationship with, with the students. We th <laughs> we love you and thank you, Ms. LaJoy. And to all the teachers and faculty, you not only have provided us with the knowledge that will serve us into adulthood, but also showed us the importance of curiosity and resilience. As we move on to a new chapter in our lives, let's take on the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead with courage and determination. Whatever path you choose, let us never lose sight of our dreams and goals. Write them down, sell yourself reminders, and don't forget to reward yourself. Looking ahead into this journey, remember the importance of staying true to yourself and remaining grounded in what you believe in. In a world that values success above all else, never forget the importance of kindness, empathy, and compassion towards others. As we leave high school and step into the world, we carry with us all the lessons we've learned from here, the memories we shared, and the friendships we formed. Though after today, we're going our separate ways, we will always be united by our bond as Vikings. So graduates, as we celebrate this milestone today, let us live in the moment. Let us take in all of what we accomplished all four years and savor it. We've earned it. Congratulations, class of 2024, and may our futures be as bright as our dreams. Thank you. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Ternary speaker, Emma Matuccio. Good morning, fellow graduates, families, and esteemed faculty. I would like to firstly congratulate the class of 2024 for all our accomplishments and the milestones we have reached throughout the past four years here at South Shore Technical. When I was given the opportunity to speak today on how my experiences here have prepared me for the future, I saw this as the perfect opportunity to shed a spotlight on the culinary instructors as they truly have been outstanding mentors. When you first meet them, they may appear as expectedly professional and cordial individuals. But if you spend more time with them, you will see they are the kindest, wisest, and funniest people you will ever meet, constantly bantering with students and each other. Behind the teasing and jokes, they are incredibly trained educators who have taught me wonderful lessons that will carry on to carry with me into not just the hospitality world, but into every facet of life. During my years with Ms. M, she has taught me that hard work does not go unnoticed. Whether path, whatever path you choose in life, whether it be furthering your education, going straight into the workforce, or joining the military, hard work and dedication is the foundation for all these paths. You have the power to pave your own path through diligent effort. The best dishes to come out of kitchens are always the one the most passion put into them. So start paving your way for the future and talk about the price of gas later. Working closely with Dusuet, whether in shop or preparing for a culinary competition, has taught me that sometimes it really is the journey that matters more than the destination. Sometimes things will not go the way we want them to. You may have not have got into that college you really wanted to go to. An award went to someone else, or your cookies came out burnt. Instead of dwelling on the neg negative, think of how many new friends and memories you will create at the other college. How proud you should be for even being considered for that award, or how delicious the cookie dough was when you snuck bites between scooping the cookies. Don't let the outcome overshadow the journey, as the process itself has a lasting value. If you ever had a conversation with Bernie that is 100% serious and no laughter, I'm shocked. He is the one who has taught me to find the element of fun in any situation. And no, that isn't a reference to Mary Poppins, and I can probably bet Bernie would not want to be compared to her. But as we move into the stress and pressure adulthood and the future will bring, I urge all of you not to try and take life too seriously or yourself too seriously. Ego is the enemy of enjoyment. Life is lighter with laughter and a smile, even in the heaviest moments. Find your people and make those memories, and make sure not to listen to every day is the worst day ever 
So before we walk across the stage and begin the rest of our lives, I would like to thank all the culinary instructors one last time for preparing me for the kitchen of life. I would also like to thank and acknowledge the unwavering support of my family throughout the years to get me here today. And lastly, I would like to thank Morgan, Dakota, Ellie, and Tegan for making my memories of high school filled with laughter and smiles. I hope something that I've said has inspired you, or maybe you just want your diploma already. Either way, thank you and congratulations again to the class of 2024. It is now my pleasure to introduce Salutorian Luke Tierney. Greetings, family, friends, faculty, in the incredible South Shore Technical High School Class of 2024. I am truly honored to stand before you today as your Salutatorian. As I look back on our high school journey, I am filled with gratitude and pride. We've navigated an extraordinary and unique path together. And today, we celebrate not only our achievements, but also the incredible growth and empowerment we've experienced through our education. First, I would like to thank the people who made our journey possible. Our teachers, especially our shop teachers, we spend six hours a day with every other week for years, were more than just mentors. They were our instructors who challenged us, guided us, and helped us realize our potential. I want to extend a special thank you to my vocational teachers in CIT, Mr. Scott and Mr. Z. Your experience, your patience, and your dedication have been instrumental in shaping my skills and my future. And of course, none of this would have been possible without our persistent support from our family and our friends who stood by us at every step of the way, encouraging us and cheering us on throughout our entire high school experience. Our grade specifically has faced drastic upheavals throughout our high school journey. We started out as freshmen thrown into hybrid learning and ended as seniors grappling with a radical new grading system. This turbulence could have thrown us off course. Instead, we showed what truly sets our grade apart, that we can go through the chaos, ending up on the other side with increased resilience and adaptability. As we step into the world beyond high school, we find ourselves entering a landscape that is rapidly evolving, particularly in the realm of technology, with advancements in AI and automation, reshaping industry, the hand value of our hands-on trades and vocational skills become more apparent than ever. Technology is physically incapable of doing the hard work that comes with welding metal, assembling computers, building furniture, or installing electrical systems. These tasks require the physical touch and human touch that only trained professionals can provide. Our practical vocations are irreplaceable and form the backbone of our country. One of the most defining aspects of our class is to seamlessly balance our academic achievements with vocational excellence. One of the most apparent aspects of each of us is our extreme dedications to our respective trades. Beyond classroom learning, our vocational training has been instrumental in shaping our collective identity, whether it's mastering the Linux operating system in CIT or mastering vertical upstick welding and metal fab. Each vocational endeavor enriched our high school experience, and these hands-on experience have instilled us with the values of dedication, innovation, and collaborations. These have set us up as possibly one of the greatest vocational classes in SST's history. As we stare down the page of a new chapter, I encourage each of you to continue seeking knowledge and embracing growth. Our time here has equipped us with the tools to face the future with confidence and dedication. The hands-on experience and practical skills we've gained through our vocational education are invaluable assets that will serve us in whatever we do. So to the class of the South Shore Vocational Technical High School, class of 2024, 
congratulations. Let's go out there, embrace our future with enthusiasm, and make a difference in the world, armed with our skills and our knowledge of vocational education. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Class of 2024 valedictory, Elizabeth Bartholomew. Good morning, attentive listeners, thumb twiddlers, and anyone wishing to get this show on the road. I promise I'll be brief, but first I'd like to give thanks to the people who have helped me most throughout the years. Mom and Dad, the unconditional love and support you've shown me has given me the confidence to believe in myself. Joe, our random late night snack adventures have shown me the joy of spontaneity. Kaylee, in the time I've known you, you filled my life with so much love. Emma, Dakota, and Tegan, you keep me grounded and never fail to make me laugh or make fun of me. Finally, to my shop and academic teachers, you all have taught me so much, and for that, I'm forever thankful. When brainstorming ideas for what I wanted to say here today, I ran into the typical issues. First, what can I possibly say that hasn't been said a million times? Second, what wisdom could I bring to the table when I have not experienced much in life? Both of these questions remain unanswered, but I did think of one thing I, I at least know well, gymnastics. No, I'm not gonna start doing cartwheels on the stage like Bernie suggested, but I wanted to share some of the things this sport has taught me. Gymnastics is a sport where you are constantly judged and where every error you make receives a deduction. Gymnasts strive for perfection, but as we've all heard before, nothing is perfect. While I constantly being told that you're making mistakes can feel disheartening to some, it's rather inspiring to me. When I'm aware of an issue, I can work on it until I fix it, and I take the same approach outside of the sport. So, class of 2024, think of perfection as a complex spectrum made of many parts. While you may never achieve perfection as a whole, work towards getting closer to that ideal. Focus on individual parts, like a gymnast pointing their toes, straightening their legs, and keeping their head up. You have the opportunity to make alterations in how you present yourself, and working towards improving small things is far more effective than just trying to be perfect. Setting goals is a pivotal part in progressing in gymnastics. Every few months at my gym, we'd write down all of our short-term and long-term goals. We'd also review our previous goal sheets to see our progress. Now, I'm positive every person in attendance today has set a goal before. I mean, think of all those New Year's resolutions that never made it past January. So, my advice to you is to always set goals for yourself, but focus more on the short-term obtainable ones. In time, those far-fetched goals will feel more achievable. You don't need to write down every goal you could ever reach, but make a note in your mind or on your phone with a direction you want to take yourself in. You will feel lost sometimes, especially once you're free from the structure of high school, but having goals can give you the security of a way forward and a sense that you're right where you're supposed to be. You may be surprised to hear that gymnastics is a more mental than physical sport. Being strong or flexible enough has little to do with training new skills. Ultimately, it's your brain not letting fear diminish your confidence that determines whether you go for a skill. For example, when I'm sprinting towards the vault table, I always have that voice of doubt telling me I'm going to crash into it. I mean, you are running full speed at an inanimate object. The difference between completing the, the skill or body slamming the table comes from what I tell myself during my run. I focus all my attention into what I'm preparing to do and visualize, my, visualize myself doing the vault confidently and safely. As a gymnast, there have been many times I have kneed myself in the face or split the beam because I'd catered to my fear and tried to play it safe. Working through the mental blocks is far more rewarding than letting them control you. You will experience hardships that feel impossible to overcome, but by having the right mindset and tools, you will find the confidence to guide you through. Class of 2024, 
The time has come to say goodbye to the place we've known as ours the past four years. Whether you decide to continue in your trade, join the military, attend college, or try something new, I know you'll use the lessons you've learned throughout your time at SST. Each one of us has the chance to balance the obstacles life throws at us, swing to success, and flip unfortunate situations around. So whatever skill you're looking to master next, you've got this. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Keith D. Boyle, Assistant Principal slash Director of Vocational Education. Good morning. Before we begin the Vocational Award presentation, I want to take a moment to recognize and celebrate the achievements of the Class of 2024 Cooperative Education participants. This year, we had an impressive 180 students participate in the program, with 123 of those being seniors. This means that 80% of the senior class took part in this valuable experience marking this the largest number of co-op seniors in our school's history. Together, our co-op students have collectively worked over 65,000 hours throughout the school year. This is an outstanding effort that has resulted in earning more than $1.1 million. As a senior class, you have also earned over 400 industry-recognized credentials. These numbers are not only impressive, but also a testament to your commitment and work ethic. Your choice to attend vocational high school, your choice to participate in the cooperative education program have provided you with a significant advantage as you embark on your future careers. The experience and skills you have acquired through your vocational program will set you apart from your peers. You should be immensely proud of yourselves for taking this initiative and making the most of this opportunity. As I announce the vocational students per shop, please stand. Outstanding vocational student of the Allied Health Department, Isabella Alves. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Automotive Department, Charles Greek. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Carpentry Department, Zach Cuddy. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Computer Information Technology Department, Luke Tierney. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Cosmetology Department, Callie Messier. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Culinary Arts Department, Mia Bradshaw. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Design and Visual Communications Department, Liana Newell. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Electrical Department, Eric Anzavino. Outstanding Vocational Student of the HVAC Department, Cassidy Ribeiro. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Manufacturing Engineering Technology Department, Kaylin Hicks. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Horticulture and Landscape Construction Program, Todd Egan. Outstanding Vocational Student of the Metal Fabrication and Welding Program, Hallie McDonnell. And give a round of applause for our Massachusetts Outstanding Vocational Student of the Year, representing South Shore Tech, Kaylin Hicks.
At this time, it's now my pleasure to introduce Kaylin Hicks, SST's Massachusetts Outstanding Vocation Student of the Year. Good morning, proud parents, guests, dedicated faculty, and most importantly, the remarkable graduates of South Shore Technicals Class of 2024. Today we are gathered to celebrate an extraordinary milestone in the lives of these talented individuals. Graduation is always a significant achievement, but here at SST, it represents something unique and powerful. We are not just celebrating the end of high school, we are celebrating the beginning of our professional journeys, the mastery of skills, and the readiness to contribute meaningfully to our communities and industry. As I stand before you, I am filled with pride and admiration for each of you. Over the past few years, you have both embraced academic and technical challenges. You have spent countless hours in shops and classrooms, honing your craft and expanding your knowledge. Whether you are specialized in automotive technology, culinary arts, allied health, information technology, or any of the other programs we offer, you have demonstrated dedication, preservation, and the passion of excellence. Aside from education, we've gained lifelong friendships and relationships and memories during our time here. Our shops became a family where we built friendships that all of us will hold on for a lifetime. As you leave this school, you can carry with you more than just technical skills. You can carry the lessons of teamwork, the importance of reliability, and the value of continuous learning. These attributes will serve you well no matter where life takes you. Remember, the journey does not end here. Education is a lifelong endeavor. The world will continue to change. New technologies will continue to rise. And your willingness to grow and evolve will be the key to your future success. To our teachers and staff, thank you for your unwavering dedication and support. You have not only impacted our knowledge, but have also mentored, encouraged, and inspired us to reach our full potential. Your impact in our lives is immeasurable. To families and friends gathered here today, your support and belief in these graduates have been the backbone to their success. Thank you for standing by them, your sacrifices, and for your unwavering belief in their goals. To my own family, thank you for inspiring me to always push myself to be better and always helping me when I overbook myself. I couldn't have done this without you. But an ultimate inspiration comes from my best friend, the dazzling woman from whom I received my name and my life's blood, Kimberly Nebu. <laughs> my mother gave, never, never gave me any idea that I couldn't do whatever I wanted or be whoever I wanted. So thank you, Mom. You are my guidepost for everything. I love you. And finally, <laughs> and finally to the graduates. Remember, today is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2024. We are incredibly proud of you and can't wait to see what you achieve. Here's to our bright futures and incredible journeys that lie ahead. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure to introduce Principal Sarah Baldner. It seems pretty clear that Kaylin Hicks, Cam Vasquez, Lily McGann, Andrea Fernandez, Emma Matuccio, Luke Tierney, and your class valedictorian, Elizabeth Bartholomew, have captured the essence of the class of 2024. Outstanding. I fully recognize that I am what stands between you and your off-campus celebrations, so I will be brief. Before we celebrate the individual, I want to celebrate the collective. What comes next requires actions from graduates, so listen very carefully. Students in the class of 2024, if you are pursuing college in the fall of 2024, please stand and be recognized. 
remain standing. The class of 2024 applied to and were accepted to a wide array of competitive and prestigious colleges. Well done. You may be seated. And now to what we do here. Some of you may be standing again because you're doing both. If you're going straight to work in your vocational degree shop area, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Remain standing. These students are well into a career in their trade, and it's worth repeating, contributing to over the one point one million dollars earned by South Shore Technical students in the 23-24 school year. You may be seated. If you are entering any branch of our armed services, please stand and be recognized. Remain standing. Without your service, there may, need be, may be no path to the freedom to choose. Thank you for your service. Class of 2024, we are here today celebrating your grit. Grit, the passion and perseverance to achieve long-term goals, the ability to stay committed and resilient in the face of challenges and setbacks. Grit separates those who succeed from those who give up. Today, we gather here to honor your unwavering determination to celebrate the power of grit. And now, let's get to graduating. When I call your shop, you will make your way to two fan favorites, Miss Amy Dow, Director of of Guidance Services, and the powerful and lovely Catherine Berry, Director of Special Education. At this time, I ask the students in Allied Health, Automotive, and Carpentry to make their way to the staging area. Ms. Berry, are the graduates ready? And we begin with Allied Health, Isabella Helena Alves. <laughs> Melissa Blanc. Andrea Michelle Fernandez. Lucille Margaret Fosdick. Andrea, you may proceed. No. 
Alps. And once more for Andrea Michelle Fernandez. Eunice Liga Maria Vidal Winter. Taylor Grace Lines. Victoria Marie Marks. <laughs> Lily Ray McGann. Congratulations. Grace Elizabeth Munstis. Molly Ann Peterson. Congratulations. Thank you. Ariel Alessandra Rand. Olivia Marie Solomini. And now the automotive program begins with Mark Richard Cohen. Abigail Rosa Cortez Morley. Miles Peter Cotton. Alexander Daniel D'Souza. Brandon Michael Gentner. Tanner Matthew Graydon. Charles Stephen Graham. Charles Paul Greek. Nathaniel Lebrun. David Joseph Norse. Nicole Fernandez Oliveira. Matthew John Rogers. Jack McNeil Chantler. Daniel Joseph Taylor. <laughs> Ivy Valentina Watt. <laughs> George Lewis Whitaker. <laughs> Anthony Michael Wildman. Congratulations. Brady Michael Willis. Congratulations. 
And from Carpentry, Sean David Afinko. Dylan Smith Balch. Michael Patrick Crowley. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Zachary Lincoln Cuddy. Congratulations. Nicholas Thomas Saikan. Congratulations. Joseph William DeBest. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. Owen Clifford Kearns. Allison Johnson McCann. Jacob Andrew McCann. Tyler David McCarthy. Ryan Joseph Norton. Sam John Pomp. Nicholas Michael Sandonato. Dominic Christopher Wilson. At this time, CIT, Computer Information Systems, Cosmetology, and Culinary Arts can please make their way to the staging area. Ms. Barry, can you give me the thumbs up when we're ready to go? All is good. And we begin with Computer Information Technologies, Andrew Anderson Jeffrey Becker. Anthony Gordon Coffey. Congratulations. Echo Edmund. Congratulations. Shay O'Brien Haskins. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Ian Matthew James Pretorius. Alec Oliver St. Louis. Connor Matthew Scott. Max Douglas Tabot. Five mom, Connie. Five mom. Luke Daniel Tierney. Cameron Lee Vasquez. There you go. At this time, I ask students in HVAC, mat, and manufacturing, uh, metal fabrication welding to make their way to the staging area. I'm just going to enter.
Just want you to have a clear view of your graduate. And now celebrating cosmetology with Liliana Dorothy Berquist. Abigail Rose Kaneen. Tyla Christine Cuno. Olivia May Belowiski. Emily Rose Hennessy. Marissa May Johnson. Cheyenne Marie Kelly. Jasmine Rose Lucier. Morgan Deanne Mays. Congratulations. Callie Claire Messier. Congratulations. Julia Gonzaga Ventresca. Alexa Victoria Visconti. Tess Adley Watt. Congratulations. And from Culinary Arts, Elizabeth Rose Bartholomew. <laughs> Mia Renee Bradshaw. Congratulations. Dakota Gloria Chapman. Owen Archer Dillon. Steliani Maria Glicus. Emma Rose Matuccio. Fiona Riley Overstreet. Congratulations. Isabella Gonzaga Ventresca. Congratulations. And now for our electrical students, beginning with Adelaide. Adelison Amato Baptista Andrade. Eric Robert Anzavino. Sophie Marie Bovel. Colin Stewart Bush. Victoria Catherine Chatsko. Griffin Alexander Korik. Jack. Justin Haywood. Hold your today. Congratulations. Hayden John Hull. Congratulations. 
Aiden James King. Owen Joseph Marr. Mark Robert McPherson. Mark William Newell. Hannah Lee Noda. Tucker Ali Novak. Jameson Tillman Sherwood. Congratulations. Riley Joshua Micah Severald. Emma LeClaire Sullivan. And Darren Michael Barrasso. And from Graphic Communications, we get begin with Lillian Joyce Callow. Jason Alexander Camo. Gabriela Rosa de Almeida. Ariel Michelle Fernandez. Vanessa Ella Friel. Margaret Ann Grady. Anna Elizabeth Graham. Sophia Marie Grasso. Nicholas John Locke. Liana Patrice Newell. Congratulations, Nick. Congratulations. Well done. Ava Cynthia Porter. Congratulations. Madison Madison Jade Wren. Congratulations. Matthew Owen Sage. Congratulations. Christopher Jacob Simons. Congratulations. Ash Elizabeth Town. Congratulations. Megan Elizabeth Venuti. Congratulations. And for horticulture, we begin with Denton Charles Bremer. Cole Giovanni Berquist. You got it. Congratulations. James Robert Doran. Todd Andrew e Lily 
Marie Grabowski. Hey, now you can celebrate in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. Caleb Luke Hawkins. Tyler Snook Klein. Kylie Rachel Latalian. Kevin Peter Maroney. Lane Hunter Morrissey. There you go, Kevin. Congratulations. Uh, that take Lucas it. Daniel Salvucci. Congratulations. Christopher James. Congratulations. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. We begin with James Patrick Potton. Tyler Joseph Dillon. Congratulations, Joseph John Gomes. Congratulations. Thank you. Nolan Alejandro Guevara. Tyler John Hartwell. Tommy Williams Jenkins. Hunter Morgan Kendall. Nicholas John Martell. Clifford Patrick Monroe. Cassidy Denise Ribeiro. And from Manufacturing Engineering Technologies, Toby Caleb Banks. Luke Charles Coughlin. Allison Marie Thatchell. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Well done. Nathan Harrison Gillis. Congratulations. Kaylin Marie Hicks. Marcus John Inferrera. Lucas Joseph Lines. And our last program of study to be celebrated is metal fabrication and welding beginning with Darius James Anderson. Victoria Linda Kergnan. Russell John Cheney. Mark Everett Consiglio. Harris Harrison Kerr Fetchel. Connor Michael Gilman. Connor Thomas Houlihan. Thomas Michael Julian.
Jacob Wilson Lane. Peyton Ashley Matheson. Hallie Elizabeth McDonald. Marissa Elizabeth Norton. Liam Patrick O'Toole. Kendrick Casimiro Ribeiro. Patrick Joseph Sullivan. And the last to pass to graduate, Justin Michael Tracia. And to officially graduate you, I turn the mic back to Dr. Thomas Hickey, Superintendent. Now the man of the hour. <clears throat> Class of 2024, please rise. I want to give our Metal Fab kids a chance to get back to their seats, please. Okay, families, cameras ready? Under the regulations set by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, I now consider you graduates of the South Shore Vocational Technical High School, Hanover, Massachusetts, class of 2024. Congratulations. And that's all you don't have to listen to us anymore. Yep, don't.